IHTN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome back to our seventh episode of Braves Beat. I'm Miles Wilson. And I'm Say Coles. I don't know about you, Shay, but I'm really looking forward to this five day weekend. Me too, Miles, but first we have to get food this episode. You're right, so let's get into the news. Indian Hills National Honor Society will be holding a fundraiser today from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Kenwood Town Center's Red Robin. A percentage of the profits from each menu item will support cancer-free kids when you let your server know that you are there for the fundraiser. It will be a perfect time to get some bottomless fries since you'll you know it will be going to, towards a good cause. Then this Friday from 10.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. at the Kenwood Baby Bop, there will be another NHS fundraiser. In honor of Valentine's Day yesterday, Hannah had a chance to play a little game with school famous couples Lila and Mac and Ella and Eli. Let's check it out. Hey Braves Beat, we are here with couples Lila and Mac and Eli and Ella to see their knowledge on each other. Um, first question, where was your guys' first date? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, turn around. <laughs> Okay, so Mac and Lila do not get a point, and Ella and Eli get a point. Yeah, what's your boyfriend or girlfriend's middle name? Is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay. What is your partner's birthday, and you get a bonus point if you know their sign? No. Uh, they, they just cheated. Okay, cheating. <laughs> oh, I thought it was 2005. Wow. I thought it was five. Okay. But I know it's March 4th. What's your anniversary? Include the year. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Name three people on your partner's best friends list on Snapchat, and then we're going to, like, just who would be on their best friends list on Snapchat. Would Lexi, Izzy, and Emily be on your best friends list? Yeah. And Jonathan, Noah, and Chef would be on yours? No. No? Who's on yours then? Not Chef. Not Chef? No, I don't think so. But the other two? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then is this right? Yeah. Abby, B Barb, and... You might be friend. yeah. That's right. Yeah, okay. Is this right? Dylan, Weeks, and Tyler? I think, yeah. Who is your boyfriend or girlfriend's favorite teacher? Mr. Piergalski? Yeah, is this yours? Yeah. Is this right? Is that right? That, what? I couldn't <laughs> think of one. Doc what? I feel like that's what did he put? He put Mr. Domineo. Okay. <laughs> that that is this episode on the newlyweds game. What? We have decided that these couples are the perfect couples of the school, so give a big round of applause. <laughs> okay, back to the news desk. I guess there really is no superior couple amongst those two. On February 22nd at 10.15, there will be a Career Connections event for Experience Ships. Media production company Barking Squirrel does a lot of corporate work in our area, and they will, they will be here in room 227 to help our students learn more about media careers. If you're interested, please contact Mrs. Silvius. Now that prom season is coming up, it is the perfect time for girls to donate their formal homecoming or prom dresses to Kenzie's Closet. Kenzie's Closet provides styling sessions to girls in the Cincinnati area who are in need of prom dresses, suits, and accessories. If you have any dresses, suits, or accessories that you would like to donate, please bring them to Mrs. Emery's room, room 117, by the end of February. Last week was a busy week for the Itton Hills Robotics Club. Congratulations to Team 421H, who took second place, securing the spot for the Ohio State VEX Championship. The team will travel to Akron in March for the state competition. You can catch the VEX teams in action this Saturday, February 18th, at Milford High School. The event is open to and free to the public. Sarah and Hannah have a quick sports report they would like to share with us as the winter season begins to conclude. So let's pass it over to them. What's going on, Braves? I'm Hannah Pollock. And I'm Sarah Vanatsky. Welcome to this week's sports report. Let's get into it. Starting off with boys basketball, the Braves had their senior night on Friday against Reading to celebrate senior legends Ben Vigran, Nathan Vigran, and Wyatt Higgins. The night was amazing as the boys won 50 to 41. They play Roger Bacon in a home game tonight at 7.30 p.m. and then have their first round of the OHSAA tournament on Saturday at 3 p.m. at Mason Middle School. Wish them luck. 
Moving on to girls basketball, the Lady Braves had their first tournament game this past Saturday against Wilmington and won 48-41. to Great job. Yesterday, they played their second round against Baden High School, and we will have those results for you next, in next week's episode. The indoor track and field team has wrapped up the end of their season. They had a meet at Mount St. Joseph University, which was very successful with the girls 4x800 meter relay, 4x400 meter relay, and boys 4x800 meter relay being ranked highly in the state. We will have more end of the season stats on next week's episode. The Bowling Braves celebrated their senior night last Thursday against Deer Park and they had their last match before sectionals on Monday against Reading. They unfortunately fell short in both, but we wish them luck in the postseason competition. The other night was a huge night for our divers. Three of our Braves made it to state. Josie Festa got first, Marisol Mason got second, and Courtney Wenker got third. Way to go. Well, that's all the sports we have for you this week. Let's take it back over to the news desk. Thanks, Sarah and Hannah. Our mock 12 teams will be going to Claremont County to compete in regionals this Friday against 10 other mock 12 teams around the area. Wish us mock 12 Braves good luck. Some of our Braves beat members had a chance to go around school and ask some questions about Valentine's Day. Get your popcorn ready, Shay. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Last night you got it. Megan Edmondson and Declan O'Dell, along with Charlie Rogers and Margot Paul. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Uh, Sydney Coward and Will Martin. Okay. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Nayla and Birch. Okay. okay. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Alex Hosoffel and Quinn Wachel. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Um, the basketball player uh, Ben and Nina. Okay, who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Now, me personally, I just want to ship the two lovebirds, Jack and Megan Edmondson. <laughs> who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Madden and John Potagel. Okay. Okay. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Penn Picton and Emily Eckert. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Luke Schwindlin and Hannah Pollock. <laughs> okay. Who do you think should be a couple at Indian Hill? Nathan Byron and Jordan Church. Even though Valentine's Day was only yesterday, I'm still feeling all the love. Me too, Shay. Even for this short week, there is still a lot of news to go over. I know, right? I'm going to Red Robins tonight to the NHS fundraiser to celebrate the start of this long weekend. Will I see you there? You sure will. Well, that's all, folks. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And, and remember, remember, stay, stay classy, classy in the hill. <laughs> Hello, Braves. Over the past few weeks, you guys have been giving us some feedback. I'm Emily Eckert. I'm Lexi. And today we're going to be reading that feedback. First question that we sent out to all of our viewers is... What did you enjoy about this week's episode? Funny. Does this answer your question? Walks out of room. I love the chupacabra. Does this now, answer? Why did they? Wait. Why? Would Nuts. This, um, is, this is my favorite. Nothing. Uh, what would you rate this week's episode of Brave Speed overall? All right. So our responses were like very, very what? Uh, but there's only out of 22 responses, there's one five star. So thank you guys for that. We got five one stars, <laughs> six two stars, five three stars, and five four stars. But only one five star, which is understandable. We're growing. And what did you think we could improve on from this week's episode? Your accent stuff isn't funny. Stop. Noted. Less weird stuff. Can you please be more specific with what do you mean by that? Make it seem less forced at the news desk. Okay. Sound quality. Target part was dreadful. I regret watching every part of that. More funny. Um, any other suggestions? Nah. It's not funny. No accent. No. no. Nope. More interviewing, more information on school stuff other than just sports. Also, you guys know you have the opportunity to email us school updates, so we would really appreciate that. Who said one. he's, I'm glad it's over? <laughs> one more. Sussinator like Terminator except sus. That's how we like it, yeah, Braves. Make sure to keep, uh, make sure to keep filling this out this survey. The QR yeah. will be on the screen. You can scan it and then Please fill out this survey. Some feedback and maybe your Please. response will be featured next week on... 
Braves beat! Yo!